I'm here with Erica Schroeder, who is a voice actor for many years in the Pokemon anime. And Erica, we just have a few questions we want to ask about you and your career. First of all, how did you get involved in voice acting? Well, I went to school for a Bachelor of Fine Arts in uh, theater performance, and um, I started out with that. And then I'd say, I think it was about 2002, I got an audition for Ultraman Tiga, which is a live action series, and I, leaded, I, I landed one of the lead roles in that, and then kind of that sort of started the whole web spreading. But it was a life goal that I set when I was like eight years old that I wanted to be the voice of an animated cartoon character. Gotcha there. Now, as far as Pokemon goes, you started, I forget exactly when, I know one of your first major roles is in the 7th or 8th season, you started as uh, Nurse Joy. How did that come about? Um, I started in season 6 as Nurse Joy. Um, I think I actually played like a little bully character first. I can't remember what his name was um, in one guest episode. But um, Megan Hollings had moved to the LA. She was moving to LA, um, to the West Coast, and so they needed a voice replacement for her. I didn't know who I was going to be auditioning for to replace. Um, I just knew that, that the character, the person who voiced that character was leaving, and so I went in and auditioned for Nurse Joy and got the role. Ironically, she also played um, My Valentine in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I auditioned separately for that and got that as well. So I must be a good uh, vocal and emotional match for, for Megan. So I, I owe a lot to her. Thank you, Megan, for moving to the West Coast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, sometimes you just got to be in the right place at the right time. All right, well, let's talk about some of your more recent roles. Uh, the folks at home may have noticed you have a little, uh, actually, it's, it's I, I just had uh, serendipity to bring in a little Meloetta doll. Uh, but actually, you voiced that character in the black and white uh, version of the anime. Uh, what was that kind of like? It was wonderful. I actually, I don't know if people know the way it worked, but I actually, I didn't voice her for her, you know, regular stuff. I only voiced her songs. Um, because they used the uh, Japanese voice actress for um, for anything that when she wasn't singing, so it was awesome. I I really enjoyed it. Um, well, I didn't get any sheet music, so that was interesting. And there's so many different uh, vowels in uh, the Japanese language that I sort of had to like listen for um, and modify uh, to sort of capture those. But um, it it ended up being like one of the more impressive roles to my daughter, which was exciting because she just like. She loves the way Meloetta looks, she loves the way Meloetta sounds, so that was kind of exciting for her to learn that I did that. All right, there's one other thing we kind of want to talk about, though, with Pokemon. Uh, as we're recording this, we, you just released, or the Pokemon Company just released the newest movie, The Power of Us, uh, not to be confused with an earlier movie, but you actually have a few roles in that one. Why don't you tell us about those? Sure, I play the mayor's daughter, and that's Margot. The mayor's daughter's name is Margot. She's real cute and little and pink, uh, pink hair and a little yellow bow in her hair. Um, she's a real pivotal character in this uh, film because I know that you saw it. Um, and I also play um, a couple of, of other characters. Um, let's see here, Wobbuffet. I took over for Casey Rogers in um, Sun and Moon. And I also play Evie, which was very exciting and a ton of fun. Um, and the other two characters that I played uh, were Teddy Ursa and um, and uh, I just told you, ditto, ditto. And there was actually a scene or two with Margot, ditto, and Teddy Ursa, and nobody else on screen. So it was funny because I voiced um, the Pokemon first. And then I discovered that I was going to be playing Margot, and I went back in and voiced her, and then realized I had a couple of scenes all by myself. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, that, that's really uh, neat seeing the logistical stuff. Did you, now, did you do the two Pokemon voices when you have multiple characters in a scene like that? Is it typical that you will do one character, then the other character, then the other character? Do you ever try and mix and match within the same like vocal thing, or do they try to separate that out? It's, it depends on what the director is feeling like is the priority for that day for the deadlines and stuff like that. But typically I will voice uh, one character and typically it'll be the higher voiced character first all the way through. So if I have like four episodes that day or something I'll do, like Teddy Ursa, I would do like all four episodes of Teddy Ursa or Sylveon, right? And then when I'm finished with that, then I would do Wobbuffet because you want to do the smoother and higher voice stuff first and then the rougher and lower textured stuff first just for vocal preservation. You wouldn't want to do it the other way around because then Sylveon would sound kind of, mm. Sylveon could sound scratchy or something like that. So that's kind of how we do it. Sometimes it's based on um, what Lisa Ortiz is the current director. She's wonderful to work with. Um, 
what the deadlines are and then but most of the time she's very kind to me and asks me what I would like to do first and she knows now she doesn't have to ask me she knows I like to do higher to lower so that's how I work that's some really great inside info. I'm glad we were able to find out about that as well as some great facts about uh, the new Power of Us movie. Uh, it's getting some good buzz, so I, I, I think you're pretty proud of your work there, aren't you? I am pretty proud of it. It's been great, and I got to see it twice in the theater, which is amazing. Um, I wanted to see it with my kids because it was the first time I got to be in a movie theater watching something that I'd worked on with my children, and I, it was really a special thing, a really special thing, because I've been with the show for so long, and now they are huge Pokemon fans, um, particularly my son. He's a massive Pokemon fan. And then, um, oh, and I have to tell you this, my daughter and I had premieres the same week, because um, she is in Mirai, Mamoru Hasada's Mirai, uh, which, yes, yeah, so I saw it um, last night. So that's why I flew in this morning. It was kind of crazy. but um, And then I got to see uh, the Pokemon movie again, with the cast. So it was really fun. There was about maybe 25 of us that saw it together. Awesome. Love learning these types of things. All right. Well, thank you very much, Erica. Thank you for having me. This has been Stephen Reich at the Alliant Energy Center at Wizard World Comic Con 2018.